Hey, so this time we're going to talk about a linear society. So what is a linear society? There's so many of them you can join. I'm a member of five. I'm a member of Sons of the American Revolution. I'm a member of Jamestown Society. I'm a member of First or Order of First Families of Maryland. I'm a, a Sons of the American Colonists and Sons and Daughters of Virginia Founding Fathers. So all these things. And I've only been doing genealogy for a little over two years, barely. But I love doing genealogy and joining linear society. This is just fun to be a part of organizations really of other people or like descendants and stuff so it's a fun thing to get into so this one because i'm just going to concentrate solely on jamestown society i'm not being paid or they haven't i haven't told them like hey i'm doing your society i'm just doing it just because some people may find ancestors to early virginia i'll, I'll do another uh, lineage society later on but yeah you can join any lineage society you want to now i will tell you this and this is jamestown society is when it comes to a lineage society, make sure you have primary source documentation like birth certificate, death certificate, marriage certificate, marriage bond, um, census records, wills, probate records, as far as you can find them. And one of the best things you can use is this, what's called Adventures of Person Person is by John Dorman. It's like the Bible, genealogy Bible for Virginia. Go to your local library, maybe they'll have it, possibly Barnes & Noble. You can go to Amazon and buy it as well. Uh, there's sites where you can buy it. It's, it is an expensive book, but if you can trace your ancestry back to like Pocahontas, John Rolfe, um, and all these people I'm about to show you on uh, Jamestown Society, then if you track them back to it, you can use that book as a resource. It's accepted by linear societies, depending on who it is. So that could be really useful for you. Now. So if you were looking at this, welcome to Jamestown Society. Now, I don't know how many people actually know what a lineage society is. A lineage society, it's just, it's literally just an organization dedicated to people who can trace their ancestry back to a specific ancestor in a specific area. There's different areas in America that have lineage society. There's multiple, there's so many, you would not believe it. But if you can trace your ancestry back to colonial Virginia, then you might want to check out Jamestown Society. So they have an application process and they have qualifying ancestors. So you would go to membership qualifying ancestors, right? These are the qualifying things. Your ancestor had to have done one of these things in order to get admitted into this lineage society. And there is a, a application proce uh, process page. If you have comments about that, I've joined this one and several other ones. There is a process that is detailed that you have to go into for it. It is time consuming. I mean, it is super time consuming, but it's also rewarding too, because what you have to realize about joining a lineage society is you are the genealogist at that point. You are doing all the heavy lifting and hard research and finding all these things using family search, ancestry, primary sources, not just any hint that comes up. It has to be primary sources or they just won't accept it. And remember, you're spending, it, take, it takes money to get into these lineage societies. They cost money because it goes to a genealogist and they look at it and they, uh, you know, verify if your documentation proves it. Because you have to think, you're being a lawyer, like a detective. You're saying, I am proving, make this argument using all this documentation I have that I go up to this ancestor. I've already done that once. I've already proven my Jamestown Society ancestor. I was happy about that but I'm used to doing it from joining lineage societies. The first one I ever joined was Sons of the American Revolution when I had no idea what I was doing. Thank God there was a guy on the, I spoke to by email who explained me the entire process step by step. That was how I got my first real start in the genealogy is through SAR individuals. And remember, you can use a John Dorman's Adventures of Person Person. He's gonna have some of these people on there, which is very helpful. You know, contact us, comment, email, you know, I mean, that's how you get into this. You ask questions, right? 